On her way to meet Nyralim, Ariyev takes a detour to the Ballads of Library to retrieve a fake cairn called the Hero and the Maid. Well, this building definitely looked a little bit bigger on the outside than it does on the inside. Oh wait, mayhaps not. Um, you're all glowy-like. Are you Tanwa, by any chance? What is it? Welcome. Do come in. You must forgive my lack of hospitality. The Maid of Windermere and her minions have left me in a bit of a situation. Preth and Ermer could offer no remedy, but perhaps your mortal ingenuity will prevail where others have failed. Well, I don't mean to, like, toot my own horn or anything like that, but I am not immortal, and so therefore, I definitely don't have the intellectual powers that your immortal friends probably have. So, um... Well, let me just give it a good old college try, shall we? What's a college again? What happened? The maid paid me a visit this past evening. She and her accomplice, Nyx the Troll, stole my most prized cairns. All that work, and for what? With what I know, I should have expected an attack. Even this imprisonment spell. It is the same she used in the Ballad of Two Knights and a Troll. I can't recall the counterspell, of course, as that cairn was stolen. You must get them back, mortal. All of them. Especially the one you came for. You don't say. So, so exactly how do I find this maid, then? Her nearest lair is Sunder Caverns, where her minion Nyx makes his home. It is a craggy pit in Haxi, east. Well, alright then. It just happens to be east is where I'm headed, so, uh... See you soon. Good luck on that. Um, while you're there, though, I think I'm gonna explore. And by explore, I'm probably going to, like, rob you of all of your riches. Ooh, what's this? This House of Ballads Echostone does not respond to my attempt to interact with it. Well, alrighty, bugger off then. I didn't want to touch it anyways. Ooh, what's this? Treasures of Meropis. Wait. What is this? I didn't even know what I just picked up, but it was round and glowy-like. Alrighty then. I don't think she can see me anymore. Um, you should probably, like, clean up all of these, uh... Butterfly uh, leaves and books from the floor. Just saying, it makes your place look a little dirty and, uh... Ooh, what's that? Alrighty then. Um, take a peek around the corner, make sure there's nobody there. Oh, and look at what we've got. I'll take that. What does this do again? Oh, look at that. It's got freezing stuff. Too bad I won't ever need it. I'll take the coins. Oh, what is this? A skill book? Hmm. Filled with lost lore and dozens of techniques, this book will grant a permanent bonus to dispelling. Oh, sweet ass. I'm gonna read that. Alrighty then, I'll read it right now. Oh, wait, it's not a consumable, is it? Alrighty then. Um, oh, wait, what's this? It's fair cairn. A kind of lost stone relates to the ballad treasures of Meropis. It is meant to be used with an echo stone. Oh, wait a second. I know where there's an echo stone. Alright, after reading this book, my dispelling skill has been permanently increased. Alright, then. I'm not gonna read that. I'll read that some other time when I'm, like, you know, resting and stuff. Alright, we got ourselves that, uh, sweet ass, uh, orb. Let me just put it inside the little doohickey over here. May the stone. Sing your song to the ages. May the breath of time remember you. Listen. Listen as the echo stone etches each ballad in memory. Hail, we sing of Meropus, last of the waterborne isles now gone. Hail, we sing Meropus, majesty our mantle and courage our sign. Hail, we sing Meropus. Death to Ferrara, who wore but lies upon him. Death to the betrayer, whose lust beheld our glory. Death to he who took our beloved treasures and hid them from our eyes. May the treasures of Meropus outlast them. When mountains fall and seas rise up, when all the courts have fallen.
Um, sure. Well, now I get to go on a little quest. And hold up a minute. Did you say a water bender? Never mind. Let's go ahead and do our current quest, shall we? I'll find your little doohickeys right no time. So you just wait there in your house. Alrighty then. Alright, let's just go down the beaten path then. Oh wait, we got fish people here. Alright then, if they just want to come at me one at a time, uh, that's fine by me. Hello! You're not very bright, are you? Um, let's... You know what? I could use a little bit of some Detect Hidden, so let's go ahead and get that. And while we're at it... Alrighty then. Look at that. We're on the way to becoming a right and proper hunter. Assassin lady. Um, alrighty then. You can just stand out there in the middle of nowhere. I'm not gonna bother you because you could be a little crazy. I don't like to deal with the loonies. Oh great, the boggets are after me. I'm just gonna tell them to get away from me. Because they're just as loony as that fisherman over there. Oh my gosh, this is a sure heck of a lot of them. What's going on over here? We've got like a party. Oh, actually. One of those canned things are over here. Gotta pick it up. Oh, great. Not exactly what I wanted. Alrighty then. Come on, little boggarts. Well, this is turning to be right uh, rough and ready. Alrighty then, little troll. Time to take you out. I ran out of arrows. Come back, arrows. Oh. Alrighty then. <laughs> it's time to take you out with the blades. <laughs> Alright, can I get some poison? Oh, maybe not. Alright, just keep pelting him with the arrows and we'll get the poison and the bleeding. Alrighty then. Almost dead. And goodbye. Um, you're frozen. Oh, what's this? A jade band? Oh, sweet ass. Um. Oh. This one's a right toughy one, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the Traveler's Band for now, for the Jade Band. Nice doing business with you. And where was that orb, or that can? There it is. Alrighty then, we got our first can. Received the two knights in the troll, part one. Would love to get a listen to that. If it all possible and all great. Well, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna run right by them because I ain't dealing with sprites right now. They're right little buggers they are. Oh well. Hello. Um I'm looking for a can. Well, well. You truly fit Hallam's description. It's nice to finally gaze upon the new Sagral. I am Sir Ermer. This is my companion, Sir Kreth. Ah. <sighs> Welcome to Sunder Caverns. If you come in search of the Maid of Windermere, I must disappoint you. She's nowhere to be found. 
Well, I'm actually looking for the cans. If you could point me into the right direction of where I could find, um, I think I'm missing four cans. You too. Well, I managed to find one, but there are plenty more. The maid had them. She was here one moment, but gone the next, as is her way. She did leave behind her old ally, Nyx the Troll, to give us a bit of trouble and slow our pursuit. Kreth and I have fought Nyx more times than I dare count. You could say he's an old friend. If you're interested in joining our little hunting party, feel free. Oh, sweet ass, let's get to it then. I'm gonna let you do all the work and hopefully you won't die in like one hit like all the other blokes I've uh, had to party up with. Oh wait, what's this over here? Soft scrabble powder. Oh, wait. I hear battle music. Is that a bear? Oh, it is a bear. Alright, you're then. Time to get the rain of arrows down. Oh, you're just gonna ignore the immediate threat for the little ranged uh, assassin? Alright, then, because that totally makes sense. You're dead. You, 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 didn't, you decided you didn't want to focus on anything. Bud, you gotta, you gotta focus on something. You can't just leave your life. Oh, whoa. You're very light, aren't you? Um. Yeah, junk it. Oh, wait. Dang it. Don't leave without me. We're in this together, didn't you know it? We're all in this together. I felt like it could have been a song, but I don't know. Oh, here comes a T-Rex, uh, where beast thingy. Not that I know what a T-Rex is. I just kind of made it up in my mind. Um. Why? Here we go. More arrows would be nice. Thank you. Alright, just gonna let all the uh, little immortal people take care of all of the work. Alright, you then got part three. We just need two more parts and uh, we can call this a good day. Wait a minute. Look at all these sprites. Damn you, you sprites. I always gotta be teleporting in when I'm least expecting you. You know what? You get the blades. I'm sick and tired of dealing with your shite. Oh, you're gonna run away from that little sprite? Is that what it is? You better get your ass in there. And take care of business. Don't let the lady take care of it. You're, you're lot are immortal. I'm immortal. If I die, it's game over for me. But if you die, you just get resurrected. You get, like, replanted or something like that. Oh, great. Now I'm running with cowards because they all went up ahead. Oh, sweet ass. They actually came back for once. Lucky me. Alright, you then? Watch yourself. Yeah, you watch yourself. They just teleported in here. What was I supposed to do? It's not like I can see into the future. Or anything like that. Your bloke's gonna lead the way? Or are you gonna let me take care of it now? Because you're all cowards. I'm trying to leave a right and proper lady behind. You did. Oh, sweet. Pot four. And we just gotta find the last fake can. Wherever that may be. Is it over here? Oh, no. Oh, I see something over here, though. Another soft scrabble deposit. Alrighty then. Don't know what I can use that for, but I'm sure I'll get some recipes a little later. How about over here? Ah, nothing. Alrighty then. Whoa, what is that? Um, that looks like a really big troll, that is. Why don't you two take care of that? Oh, sweet ass, that's right. You, 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 you hit him when he's uh, not at least expecting it. Oh, but don't die. You can't die in like two hits. I will admit you kind of lasted a little bit longer than one hit, so... There's that, I suppose. Oh, and like a true player, he got right back up. 
Get dead. Alright, you then. Alright, now we just gotta take care of Nyx, the little troll. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I uh, ruffle your little feathers there? I'm gonna ruffle more than feathers. Alright, boys, stand back and watch this. I'm gonna stab right in the eye. See that? That's how it's done. You gotta, like, conjure up a little, uh, a little, uh, weapon like that and just, you know, throw it right at their eyeball. And that'll take care of it. Terrible now, was it? Still, I'm baffled as to why Nyx was outside Sunder Caverns. It was surely not to play his part in the coming ballad. There's more going on here than Kreth and I are party to, and I want to know what. We'll speak again back at the House of Ballads. And Sagro, thank you. These are times of change, and we all must be in our guard. Well, yep, yeah, yeah, you go ahead and do that. Goodbye. Wow. I think they uh, might have noticed the uh, little shortcut that's over there. Right, you then, an average uh, pick. Okay, I got plenty of picks left. Yeah, Disciple's Hand, what does that do? Well, can't use it. Another Shared Prism. Alrighty then. Saving a long sword. Uh, yep, get rid of that. Because I don't use long swords, I use bows and uh, daggers. And yeah, let's jump down. We might actually make it back before they, uh, before they, uh, get back. Alrighty then. I'm pretty sure I might have made it back before those two blokes, but we'll see. Right, lady, I got it. But you've returned without the most important cairn of all. Troubling. But this is a challenge for later. For now, you must break this cursed spell. As you've no doubt noticed, those cairns are warded and will not reveal their secrets. They will, however, last an eternity. Perhaps even longer. What am I supposed to do? I can't wait an eternity. You see, I'm supposed to release you, but I ain't magic. Those cairns are like lore stones, but special. They're enchanted, and the only way to unlock their contents is to use the Echo Stone. The one in the next room is one of Hallam's early attempts, but it should work. Go listen to two knights and a troll. Find the words that will free me from this prison. Well, alrighty then. Sweet ass, we get to take story time. And it's for a quest too. May the stone sing your song to the ages. May the breath of time remember you. Listen. Listen as the echo stone etches each ballad in memory. Alrighty then. Two Nights and a Troll Part 1. Let's get a listen to it. The story of two valiant souls I bring. Of the lords named Aermer and Crethai Sing. Two hearts united against common foes. The thoughts of one in mind, the other knows. Lord Creth of Knights, most stoic and grave. Lord Aramur's hand and shadow the brave. And gentle Aramur, his equal in might. Dawn to Creth's dusk. Day to his night. Here is the tale of how they stopped a troll. The maid of Windermere corrupted its soul. The troll named Nyx had a most troubled heart. In nature was it displeased with its part. It hated its difference from the norm and wished to shed its current form. In grief it went to the Maid of Windermere. She motioned to Nyx and beckoned him near. It is your wish to be human, I see, she whispered to the troll in glee. I shall grant your wish and make you so. You are a human now, she cackled. Go. And so the troll named Nyx to town it came. Never suspecting it was still the same. It crushed the road and split the wall. And Kreth and Aramur were sure to fall. They faced the troll and fought to no avail. The wise knights knew 
what was wrong in our tale. The treacherous maid of Windermere at play. We know in part what is wrong with this fay. And so Lord Eremer shouted to Lord Cref. Challenge this troll to a duel to the death. The troll still under the wicked maid's spell. And was human, it thought, and all was well. Rampaged throughout the countryside in joy, treating all as toys. Lord Ermer slowly approached him and said, If you are human, deal as such instead. Faith us, if that is your fate. Duel us, and reveal the truth of your state. Then the troll and fay did battle and fought. Alas, all was not as the troll had thought. After he had won, Lord Kreth said to Nix, with a mind to ease and a will to fix, You are a troll, and that is good, my friend. You have no faults, no wrong to mend. But if it be your wish to join their kind, a better way you must find. There is naught wrong with following your will, as long as it does not bring others ill. Again, the heroes of honor stayed true. The story of a troll, and the knights too. Oh, sweet ass! That was a rightly good and proper story from one of these little Eckerstone thingies. I like that. All right, then. So, what am I supposed to do again? Did you discover the words to the counter spell? Um. You're human now, so get. That's it. That's it. Hear me, and don't forget a word. What Hallam feared is coming to pass. Somehow, using a new and twisted magic, the Maid of Windermere hopes to alter the telling. At this moment, she possesses the single most important song in our canon, the hero and the maid. If its story changes, we are all at risk. You must warn the House of Ballads. Time is running out for all of us. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to get the... the knight and the maid, or whatever it's called. What should I do then? Go find Wenson and Hallam. It may already be too late. Well, all right then. Sure. See you soon. Um, should I do that like right now or can it maybe wait? Because I'm supposed to do some other quests and stuff like that and well, I'm kind of like already here. No? Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Um, King Winston, I have some news. You may search the Empire ten times over, but you will not find your beloved Wenson, nor his foolish court of enchantments. They, like you, are mine. Dream of me, lovely, for we shall be together soon. The time is coming. Eh? Who are you again? Did anybody see that? Hey. Did you see like a weird little lady here that was all glowy and like? Certainly impressive. One for the telling. No, you were just staring at. Nothing there? Okay, well, uh, maybe next time you turn around every once in a while. Any of you see the uh, glowing lady? Hello again, my friend. I believe congratulations are in order. Isn't that how you mortals express appreciation? Well, not really. I'm gonna take money. You didn't see that lady, did you? No? Alrighty then. Well. well. Let's go find the other bloke. What's his name? Good. You are well. The same cannot be said of the king, nor of the court of enchantments. In my absence, the maid has taken them. Taken them all. Tenwa says that the greatest of ballads the hero and the maid, was not recovered. This song above all the others must be found. You have acted as our agent thus far, Sagro. Do you continue to stand by us? With all our heroes gone, 
You may very well be our last light in the darkness. Well, I suppose so. I mean, it will lead to riches and treasure, right? So what's next? I knew I could count on you. In the face of uncertainty, your loyalty has proven steadfast. It is no use for us to combat the Maid of Windermere when we do not understand her new magic. There is only one man I know who might shed light on our ignorance. His name is Father Eter. He is a monk and an alchemist, and a trusted friend. Eter may have the answers we seek. Well, where is Father Eter then? Let's get to go finding him. Father Eter watches over a small Almain mission in the southeast, St. Edric's. You will know it by the ruins on the hill. Wait a minute. I think I've already been there. Sweet ears. This will be another easy one. Find it here. Yep, we'll do. Jesus. My boots. They're gonna be mighty stinky. By the time I'm done traversing all over this damn place. Alright then. Oh, look at this. A hard lock. Oh. Right then. Sweet ass, it better have some not stupid stuff. Alright then, just potions then. Um, let's go ahead in and find the alchemist then. Um, hello? I'm looking for an alchemist. Really? Nobody? Alright then. I'm just gonna have a look around. Make sure everything's alright. Make sure that there's no lady uh, over a dead body that's been ripped to. Sh well. Ooh, a chest. Well, all I can say is it sure weren't me. Um, you're not just like pretending, right? No? Alright, you then. That's kind of what I was a little afraid of. Oh, what's down here? What's this? Oh, oh, wait. I saw some money. A lot of beds around here. Alright, you then. What's inside of this one? Prayer book? No nope, thanks. You have no need for prayers. Oh, look at this. A longbow that deals freezing damage. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to pass that one up. Another disc key, huh? I want you then. Wait a minute. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to break the news to the old monks. Um. Alright, you then. So we're just gonna stalk right on up, casual like, and, uh. Um, maybe mention that there's a dead body in there. Um, hello there. Um, so I was perusing your wonderful little cottage over here, and I just so happened to notice that there was a dead body. It wasn't me, by the way. Welcome to St. Edric's. You're here to meet with Father Eter, yes? The Father's always playing host to interesting individuals such as yourself. His quarters are on the second floor of the Mission Bunkhouse. Most of his days are spent inside working on his research. I don't understand a word of it. Yeah, well, you probably didn't hear all that stuff, but... He's dead, he was murdered, and it wasn't me. So don't blame me. No, I, I knew that they were arguing, but I never imagined that it would lead to... to murder. Enough to make a man question his faith. Um, exactly who was arguing with uh, Father Eter, Eclair, or whatever his name is? Father Eter and his apprentice brother Wolf. They were inseparable, like a true father and son. It was a shared love of alchemy that brought them together. But since their work repairing the village well, they've been acting tense, even hostile. Just this morning, I saw Eter fetching water. 
But now he, he's gone. Mitharu save us all. You're free to search the bunkhouse. Please, if you can shed any light on this tragedy, we'll do all we can to assist you. All right. Anything I should look for then? Father Ter and his apprentices conducted many experiments. He had a strong interest in alchemy and the magic of other aces. There's proof of it everywhere. Bless you, child. Right then, looks like we're gonna search again. All right then. Um. Oh. So it is. Oh, a book called Saturday. In the margins of this weathered old journal are the daily devotionals and musings of Father Eclair, spiritual leader of St. Egypt's perpetual mission in Haxi. Alrighty then. A strange maiden arrived today from beyond the sheet. She had come about the crystal. I knew at once who she was, despite who she claimed to be. Her lamb has filled my head with enough fate tales for me to recognize the maid of Windermere. Oh, great bloody hell. Alright, Ethan, that's all I need to know. Found the mysterious empty case that holds traces of red crystal dust from whatever was once housed inside. On the front is a label that reads crystals from the whale excavation. Wait a minute, like the whale that I woke up in? Well, alright, Ethan. Then looks like we're going inside the uh, whale. Hope it doesn't stink. Alrighty then. Of course it will be all wet and damp inside. And let's be honest. How are you going to get some water from here? I mean, seriously, look. The bucket's going to come right down here and there's no water right there. It doesn't make any bit of damn sense. All right, that's right. I'm magic. I forgot. And who are you? Oh, you want to play? A little kobold? Oh, that's right. You throw bombs. All right, little kobold. Come out and play. Drop that bomb. I'm going to shoot you. Bloody sturdy, you mate saw. Well, alrighty then. We'll take all of that. Should probably get to uh, possibly making more potions at some point. But, oh, whales. Uh. Well, there was no getting around that one, I wasn't there. Oh, I see the traps. Don't think I don't see the traps. Oh, you then. And this little kobold said, wah, 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 because he did. Oh, bloody hell, don't just go, uh, you know, blowing yourself up. What's going on with this bloke? There's another cobalt dam. Alrighty. Oh my gosh. These little blokes take uh, quite a punch. A packing. Alrighty then. Make sure that we're not running into any more traps. Ah, uh, there's no getting around that, is there? Then. Well, look at who we have here. Um, you you come over here. No, I need you over here right now. No, I'm gonna have to deal with these uh, blokes. All right, then.
He has one down. He has soon to be two. He's, he's gonna be a third. Alright, and then it was just you and me. Um, can I help you? Would you like to get over here so you can die? Right and proper? I don't want that. Go back here. Why, why, why is he running like that? Well, he's gonna die now. That's for damn sure. You should have stood and fought me. You might have stood a little bit more of a chance. Then, oh yeah, just drop me right on top of the uh, trap there. All right, you then. This might be a little tricky. I might be able to get in there and take care of business. Possibly not though. Oh, quit poking me with your long stick there. I said no, I don't want it. Get out of here. My umber longbow is severely damaged. That's a first. Alright, repair key. Alrighty then. Time for you to die and time for your little bloke to die as well. Bye bye. Right, you then let's pick this lock. Alright, you then. Let's get to it. I should really start using a lot of my potions then. Because sh I sure am getting a lot. Oh, hex, yeah. I'll take that. Although I don't really need the experience anymore. Definitely don't need that. This is a very long uh, and cumbersome uh, river we have here. We should have put the whale over here. Alright, Ethan, and I see uh, somebody. Oh, no, you don't. Get back here. You're not gonna get away from me. That's right. And now you did, because you tried to run instead of fight like a true man or a cobalt man or whatever you call it. I don't even know if you're a man or a lady, to be honest. But you did. That's all I know. Yeah, how did that uh, work out for you? Take an air to the face. I see you coming around. Too bad it ain't gonna help you. Alrighty then. I'm getting all uh, nicely with the stabs. Ginger twig, I'll take that. Oh well, alrighty then. That sure did suck. Yeah, nope. Don't need it. Don't need that mana potion either. Alrighty then. Get me a crystal. All right, two more to go. And this get a little bit cumbersome, it is. But oh, whales. Longbow of accuracy, don't need it. All right, then. Hello there. I'm looking for a crystal that your friend has, and I'm gonna steal it. You want some? You want an arrow to the face too? Get rid of you first, so you're not throwing any stupid bombs at me. And then I'm gonna take care of your little sister over here, or brother. I don't know. He's a cobalt. He's dead. 
All right, you're then. Just one more crystal to go, and uh, we'll be all set. Oh, sweet ass, these are indestructible shoes. It's exactly what I needed. Except I can't wear them. Oh, well. I'll kill us, Steph. Let's go on with Bark. Oh, well. It's all going to one place. To some sailor's hands. That's for damn sure. Alrighty then. What's over here? It's like out of the way. Should be something pretty good. Daggers of accuracy. That's the uh, rubbish. There it is. Oh, whales. Um. Oh, uh, well, did you like fall on your knee or something? Maybe uh, jump down when you weren't supposed to. Stay back. I don't know who you are or how you found me, but you will not have the crystals. They are mine. Don't make me kill another. Oh, you killed Father uh, Claire, didn't you? You you wanted his tasty pastries and you you decided to kill him, right? I had no choice. He was trying to destroy the crystals. He didn't understand that we'd been chosen, that the crystals wanted us to possess them. The strange woman was right. She knew the crystals' power. That's why she wanted them, but we told her nothing. When she left, Father dropped the crystals back into the well. But they sang to me, told me to kill him and rescue them. Their voices... Uh, so beautiful. Well, your curse is broken, so, uh, have fun with it. I... Oh, Father Ritter, what have I done? I never meant anyone harm, especially not the Father. Please, you must help me destroy the crystals, stop the corruption. My whistle may help you find them. I use it to speak to the crystals, sing to them. I am not a bad man, just a weak one. I will pay for this sin for the rest of my life, however long I wish that to be. Oh. Yep, well, oh. there is there, I suppose. Um, let's go ahead and use the whistle, shall we? Oh, sweet ears, I can play it. How about that? I didn't even know I could play an instrument. Maybe I should be a bard instead. Bards are pretty sweet ass. They can inspire others and uh, they can cast spells they can. Well, this uh, skeleton, that's for damn sure. I'll add that to the junk pile. Um, did I use the uh, whistle? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, oh, oh! Sweet ass, let's return. Um, let's see. It looks like there's a way out over here to local rain. And now we gotta make the long trek back to the balance, right? Oh, great. My boots are gonna be all worn and torn. Leave it to Hallam the White and his pet to expose my plans. You will regret ever joining the House of Ballads. Eh? Who are you again? I am known as the Maid of Windermere. But that is all you shall learn this day. Well... All right, then, well, where's the king? Winston is with me, and he will stay with me until I deem it fit to return him. If the House of Ballads wishes to have its king, it must send its greatest warrior. Well, don't look at me. Since I have all of them, that leaves you. Come, I wish to collect you as well. I will be waiting. Well, Bloody Hills is definitely not me. I don't know what you're talking about. This is not just about the court anymore. You have roused the maid's interest. 
and it is clear she wishes to add you to her collection. We must do as she commands, but we will be prudent in how we proceed. This ballad, the champion, is one to be undertaken with great caution. So, Sagril, are you ready to make the preparations and depart? Now is the time. I really don't want to go. Why must we, uh... What is the champions? It is a tragic ballad of a knight who entered the Maid's Kingdom, only to fall prey to her enchantments. His name was Sir Elswin, and he had the best of intentions. Elswin gloriously overcame Windermere's defenses, but it was on the edge of the Weeping Gorge that the Maid came to him and clouded his thoughts. Now he stands forever as the Maid's lone champion, defender at the gates. All who wish to enter the kingdom of Windermere must go through him. Well, if I get that, I don't want to do it. But then again, if I want to get paid, I guess I got to. All right, then I'm ready. It is time. You are the last knight of the House of Ballads. You represent all that we've been through. All that we are, in this telling, and all those to come. There is little you can do to prepare for the journey ahead. But take another resurrection potion like the one you used to save Ferrara. You may need it. This is all I can offer you. The rest of the story is yours to tell. Well, uh, good job doing me. How do I get to Windmere then? One can always find what is sought if the desire is strong enough. Venture northeast of the House of Ballads, and you will find your way. Oh, great. I'm surrounded by a bunch of other cowards that don't want to challenge the uh, maid. You are our last hope, Sagal. Well, you're probably all doomed then. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. You're all doomed. Just start packing your bags and uh, get out of town because um, I'm running away. Bye.